Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover all the new features of Filmora 10.4 that you got today. And this is a new upgrade of the Filmora 10 and I think there's some interesting feature in this software you should uh, take care of. Okay, so let's go one by one. And here, I, I already installed Filmora 10 on my computer. And this is the first feature, optimized project base. So now they change the project bed to this size and it's a rectangular size. And here we still have the aspect ratio. We can select the aspect ratio here and create a new project with this button and open the old project so it's similar. And here we have the project library which you can access to your old project. And on the right side, we have some button here and they are new. So the first one is the auto highlight and the second one is the PC screen. Well, we use a screen recorder so you can uh, record your computer screen uh, from here. And it is the instant cutter. So instant cutter uh, meaning that you can uh, cut, cut your clip or split your clip in different parts or you can merge different uh, different clip into one without losing the video quality so I, I saw this function in Filmora 8 at the start page by the way in Filmora 9 uh, they just uh, put it in the imported folder and now they bring it back and I'm not sure maybe some of you asked for this and for the PC screen recorder I think it is the same so I don't need to uh, cover it here okay and for this one this is the auto highlight so this is new I'm going to click on that you will have a new windows and you you can also access to the user interface of Filmora 10 so I don't know why they, they don't put it in in here so we can just uh, go here and then uh, use this one and now you have the auto highlight so now you need to import your video here and and now you have your footage here and then you select the length that you want to split and actually they just split the clip into different parts with the selected um, duration here and then bring it to the timeline uh, so for example this is a 30 second clip i'm going to select you know 50 seconds for tiktok and being mentioned that you can custom the duration here also okay so this is for tiktok and we can keep the gaps if we need because they split the clip into different parts and if we want to keep the gaps uh, so it is on the timeline it's, it's a long timeline for example i can uh, keep the gaps and then i, I click extract now it will split the clip into different parts and then bring it to the timeline okay so it finished um, splitting uh, my clips and now it's trying to uh, drag and drop the clips uh, into the the timeline and there's a difference between uh, the media and also the timeline so we have to match to media we have to select this one okay so as you can see here it split my clips into different parts and to be honest i really I, I really don't like this feature because why uh, because the, the, it is trying to uh, to guess what I want to create with my video by splitting the clips okay this is the best moment and okay this is the best moment of your video but to be honest only me the creator or the video editor know what is the best moment in my video and I think I think this feature is total unnecessary to to have it in your Filmora 10 okay because uh, we can just split the uh, the clip uh, because we can just uh, bring the clip uh, down to the timeline and then split the part that we want to to highlight or, or split the the best part of my uh, clip and then I can just just do it manually I don't really need this one okay so that is about the auto highlight and I think it's unnecessary Alright, so that is about the optimized start page and auto highlight in Filmora 10.4. And the last feature is audio normalization. And I think this feature is very interesting. Uh, before, in uh, before, if we, if we want to 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 balance the the audio of different clips on the timeline, we have to do it manually. Uh, now we can have them automatically. So we have the audio normalization. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, so here I am on the timeline and I have a music track here. I split them in three parts. Uh, this part I want to increase the volume to Yeah, maybe not maximum but uh, higher and at this part I want to reduce the volume to uh, To this one uh, nearly minimum 
minimum. I'm sorry. And this part is normal. And now if if I play the music, uh, it will be high and low and then high, right? Uh, like this. Okay, and now we can uh, we can normalize this uh, music track by highlighting all of them on the timeline, and then right click and go to adjust audio. And now we have the, this one, the auto normalization. So th this is the audio normalization. Okay, so we can select on that, and the program will do some magic. And now you see here. All the volume are at the, uh, at the same level, and now we can listen to the music again. It is very interesting, right? And you can do the same with your voiceover also. All right, so that is everything about this new version. And uh, when you install the new version, everything is still the same here. Uh, nothing changed. Your custom title is still here, and your project, your old project is still here. Video effect is still here, and elements, uh, everything is the same. So if you want to upgrade, just um, go ahead to the help page here, and then click check for update. Uh, or you can download download the new installation file from Wondershare. I will put the link in the description for you to uh, go to Wondershare to download the, um, the installation. Alright, that's enough for today's videos. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Okay, so this is a notification from uh, Wondershare about the live update. So we have um, Filmora 10.4.1 and uh, we have some new feature the new auto highlight feature uh, i'm very curious about this feature and new audio normalization it's great because uh, previously we don't have audio normalization whenever we have to, uh, whenever we want to adjust the audio of multiple clips on the timeline we have to do it manually and it is a disaster okay and some other other upgrade here by the way to uh, if you want to upgrade, you can, you can click the, this button, free upgrade. Let's click that. And now it will download a new installation folder to your computer. And it may take time. Total, total size is uh, 343.92 megabytes. When it is finished, you can install the software and restart uh, Filmora 10. And you got a new version. So. Okay, that is how to upgrade and install.